this guy here popped right off as well. That's the guy that come off. Uh, looking over at this tie here. That guy, that's not even tied to that pin. That's ridiculous. What's up guys? You're watching Bob's Decline. For those of you that are new to the channel, my name is Aaron. I've been a lineman on the east coast of Canada for about 19 years now. So what we're going to be taking a look at today is a call that I responded to about two weeks ago. It was a pretty standard call. I was responding to a tree that come down on the lines. Um, it was actually called in by the fire department. It was a, a pretty regular day, a little bit windy and a dead tree off in the woods, the top that come down onto a three phase line. Pretty standard call, usually it'll lay across the line. If it's on a main line, the recloser will operate two or three times until it either locks out or the fault clears itself and comes down on the ground. So in this particular case, the fire department called in and they said there was several span of wire on the ground. And they said there was a lot of arc and a lot of fire. So we didn't fool around, we headed right there as fast as we could. I got on the radio and also rated for backup. So upon my arrival, um, first thing, great job to the fire department. There was primary down, two out of three cutouts were blown. The third cutout was still closed in and the third phase was still energized. That phase was also still up in the air, but there was a phase on the ground right alongside it in contact with the tree. It was on the ground, uh, very dangerous scenario. And like I said, great job to the fire department. They had the road blocked completely off. They took their truck, they blocked the road for a good 300 meters as the wire was down. I went up to see the fire department, do a real quick scene survey, let them know that one of the wires was still energized. So to continue doing what they were doing. And then I proceeded back to where the switch was, only maybe 20 span back or so when I opened that remaining cutout, set up, used the load buster, of course, it was, it was main line. At this point now, the road's still shut down. We've got all three phases open. There's no grounds on the line yet, or permit on the line for that matter. So we contacted our dispatch, checked our normal open, got, got our grounds in the line, made the scene safe. The fire department was kind enough to stick around and help out with the area until we were able to get our own flagman and some backup on site. So here's, here's what I wanted to talk about with you guys. Um, right away, showing up at the scene, seeing three span of wire down with one fairly small tree, I knew something was up. And typically for a tree to fall on the lines, if the wires are down on the ground, it's because either it was a really big tree and it broke through them or the arcing melted the wire. But at every pole, the wire secured by either a preformed tie wire or aluminum tie wire. There's multiple different ways to, uh, to tie that wire to the pole, all of which are supposed to hold the wire up in the air pretty well under full tension if there's if there's an incident like this and the tie wire on either side on either pole will actually hold that wire from going down from a domino effect of it coming down off each pole which it did in this case and i could actually see on the wire when it was down close to the ground there was a preformed tie that was just kind of floating there on the on the wire hanging so we can see here what happens when primary is not tied properly. We should have only had one span of wire down. Instead we've got three span total wire down. Now the worst part is it was a preform that was improperly installed and that can be extremely extremely dangerous so I'm working on a pole. So this guy here popped right off as well. That's the guy that come off over at this tie here that guy that's not even tied to that pin that's ridiculous so someone down there hooking up the service working on that secondary has three 12,000 volt well 7,000 volt phase ground phases that aren't even secured right above their head that's why you gotta Check this stuff out, every single pole, guys. Check out every single tie, all your insulators, every job. 
partner down there checking the pole. Went down to get some ties, ran into the same, same situation. So that's what the tie looked like. They just laid it right on the wire. This stuff is extremely important, guys. If you're up in the air, you're not sure how to put these, on, these ties on properly, stop what you're doing and go ask. So I do have a video in detail showing you how to install these ties properly. Let's see if we can't, we'll see if we can't give you a little bit of an idea. Basically, this is your tie. If when you're done, it's still laying in that same position, then you tied it wrong. We're gonna set that on the pin. This is how it was tied originally, just like that and wrapped around. When actually, you gotta dip that around both sides and give it a twist all the way around. Let's finish that tie on there. This line is all bonded and grounded, by the way, guys. Simple as that. All right, now you see here how that centerpiece is tight down against that EACSR. And then before it grabs onto the ear of that insulator, it wraps around the back of that wire, then grabs the ear of that insulator. Now look at this guy over here. That's coming over top of the wire, then going around the ear. That thing will pop right off as soon as I touch it. So we're gonna go retie that one too and get this line back on. So it sounds daunting, but we're gonna have to check this entire line. I do remember a job being done here about five years ago, so uh, we'll look up the history and see which poles were worked on. We're going to have to check every one of these poles. But just again guys, to reinforce how important it is when you show up, check your work zone, check everything on the pole. And in case you guys have never seen them before, if you ever see ties that look like that with the rings on them, those are, we call them a hotline tie, it's a stick tie. Somebody put that on there with uh, sticks from the pole. Likely changed the cross arm and the, or the pole itself at some point while it was all energized using sticks only. So we're gonna pack her in, get this line energized. Be safe out there guys. I mean, it may not be apparent, but something as simple as a tie wire, the hazards it can present to other workers out in the line and the public or even a situation like this where a tree hit the line and we had multiple span come down across driveways, there could have easily been an incident. So don't be scared to ask questions, guys. And again, uh, check out the link below. I'll show you how to properly install those preformed tie wires. Thanks for tuning in and see you guys next time.